Okay, we'll start with the tunneled central venous catheter. The definition of central venous catheter that it ends in the superior vena cava right at the cavoatrial junction. So what happened with the tunneled is they created two incisions, usually one here and one here. Here they go with the catheter and stick the vein, put it in the vein, and put the tip of the catheter right at the atrial, as cavoatrial junction, right just above the right atrium. And then instead of bringing this outside the skin, it create a tunnel in the subcutaneous tissue underneath the skin. Tunnel the tube and the catheter all the way until the other uh, till the other incision and then the exit is right here the bores of the catheter comes out so you won't see except the bores of the catheter and some catheters are all underneath the skin you have to access them through the skin this way is kind of more secured less infection and of course can stay for long term for weeks and months if not longer so you will see quite often with cancer patients who are receiving chemotherapy and sometimes as a permanent dialysis catheter instead as an alternative to the AV graft or shun or as a bridge between um, until the AV graft or the AV shunts matures. So these are the main uses. Of course, can be used for sometimes if somebody needs IV fluid chronically or TPN chronically, they can be used. So as I, as I said, it's, it's two cuts here, one here for entry into the vein and then tunnel under the skin until the exit and you see these dual lumens. Most of the time are dual lumens um, that can be, can be triple lumen as well and it's underneath the skin. Who places it? Usually general or vascular surgery or IR which is interventional radiology. Those are the physicians or provider usually placed it. Usually it's not performed by internal medicine residents or physicians. Complications like any other catheter, infection still a possibility. Malfunctioning and malpositioning another uh, problem. Thrombosis another problem and another problem is like Vena, vein stenosis. Other uses, the main practical point for us, quite often you will see the nurses coming to us, hey, can we access the porta ca the, the, the tunneled catheter uh, to use it? And I only, I always ask why it's placed. Oh, the oncologist placed for cancer treatment. I tell them, hey, let's call the oncologist and get his permission. If it's a dialysis catheter, let's call his nephrologist and get the permission. So I always ask permission from the one who is using it if it's okay to access it or not. Because it's a big problem if we go and access it and we were not supposed to. Because this is an invasive procedure, an expensive device. So if you get a question from nurse, ask who put it in or who ordered to put it in and who's using it, which physician, and tell them to reach that physician and get permission from that this is the main practical point the second practical point is you may hear different name portacath permacath hickman catheter these are brand names for the same tunneled central venous catheter so perma cath porta cath and i think called hickman if i can m a n catheter Sorry for the bad writing here. But these are brand name. So remember, this is a catheter can stay for a long time. And the main practical point, if you're going to use it, ask permission from the physician who is using it.